we might be drunk. Look at this. We got old Sammy the Bull as usual, and then our special guests, the uh, the, the prom king and queen. Yeah. Absolutely. Joe List and Sarah <laughs> Tolomash. Here we are on opposite sides of the couch the way we like right. it. Right. Couples therapy. How is everything? Two men in between us. The way I always... You guys used to have, used to have the bit about uh, first class, how you get upgraded, but you wouldn't be able to sit together, and you're like, yeah, we're okay with yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah. yeah. Also, it's like... <laughs> It's really funny. Like I always think when we don't sit together, if the plane like crashes, that I can't be like, can I sit next to my husband while we die? I would just yell. You have to sit separately while we're dying. Yeah. Yeah. I would just yell back. I love you. Whatever. (laughs) Yeah. Well, that happened a lot because I would buy. So oftentimes I've bought a ticket before and then Sarah decides, oh, I want to tag along some bullshit. So I'll get her a ticket, but first class is already taken up. And then there was one guy, a big Texas guy was like... Because I was already in my seat, obviously, and Sarah got on half an hour later. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I love you. And he was like, now I'm out of believe that's your wife going back there. Uh, and I was like, yeah, you know, and he's like, in Texas, that wouldn't fly, man. You yeah. don't let your wife. And I was like, well, she's from Texas and you can blow. Why don't you give her your seat? Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good point. Give, give her your seat. You're from Texas. No, that, this is a good internet argument. That is good. Well, people think it's crazy. And then Sarah only just recently got pre-check and I would leave her in the dust there too. Oh, that's That's on reasonable. you. Yeah, well, you gotta sister. get her. To get it set up beforehand was so annoying. Like, I just didn't feel like going to a Staples. That's how I felt too. Yeah, but now I did it through Clear. And oh. You, so you can just do it at the airport. Oh, wow. I had to go to Staples. You yeah. waited it out. I waited it out, but it took like years. I think I went to the DMV. I think I did the, re- the really Ooh. shitty way. Yeah, yeah I went to OG. a place, yeah. like yeah. the pre-check place. Mm-hmm. And it was fine. It was easy. But it is a game changer. Oh, it's nice. huge. But, but then, what, what about when you see the pre-check line is longer than the other line? And you're like, how'd we get here? Well, now there's the other one. I don't even want to mention it because I want the line to stay short. <laughs> but you know about... Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bleep it. that. You gotta bleep that. Well, we keep giving more. You got the fingerprint, the eye, the iris. It's gonna, it's gonna keep. There's gonna be a new, a new thing in the yeah. year. Yeah. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. I gotta tell you. Yeah, I, my balls. I'm a bad. Dip your balls in the little thing. I don't care about it. The, the government. The, I've always been like this. Even going back to George W. Bush, I've always been a bad liberal. Whatever. That's a bad word now. That's like the N word. The liberal. But whatever. A bad leading left person because since day one I'm like read my emails listen to my phone calls watch Same. me fuck I don't care if I Same. can get on the airport faster I don't care if you read my text I feel bad for you yeah because it's just a lot of a lot of dark horse shit let the government read all my shit we're yeah. putting it all out anyway it's, you got the phone you got find my iPhone they know where we are they know what gay club you're at T- whatever TikTok knows who you are to a T who TikTok? Oh, yeah. But yeah. well, there were the China. COVID. There were the COVID people who were like, "I'm not. I don't want the government because they were, you know, knocking on doors for mm. people to like get the vaccine. They're like, I don't want to get the vaccine, and so they know where I am. It's like they knocked on your door. They found yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> they got you already. Right. Well, there is a microchip in it, obviously. <laughs> But yeah, yeah I, I, anyways, we have. But I want to. In my defense, we have a baby, and when we would fly, because I had clear and pre-check, I would take the baby. Oh, so I'm not yeah. a complete monster. Yeah. All right. I guess I am because that. Remember we went to London. Yes. We got it. We me and him did a TV show in London. They got us free first class tickets, and the wife was like, "I want to go to London." And I was like, "All right." And it was the same thing. So she sat in the way back of the plane, and I'm in the international first class. Yeah. It was a whole other ball game, and that was a fight. You bring her back in a roll or something? I did. I gave her a pat of butter. <laughs> Just something. the butter. <laughs> but yeah, that was, a, that was a rough plane ride. Yeah, what can you do? And six hours later, we made up. Wow, well, she should grab herself by her bootstraps. <laughs> Stupid pregnant asshole. Yeah. <laughs> this is pre-pregnant. Ah, good point. That but was a great time. Great trip. Horrible TV show. You keep saying that. Cut that. Well, the show's, show's fantastic. Five it's the years best ago. show I've ever been on in my life. Are you kidding it? me? No. No, it was really I bad. Was a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was trash. It was a bad show. <laughs> it was bad. And, but they, boy, they they whipped us into shape. I remember I showed up and you're like, you're in for it, fatty. They're going to kill you. And I hadn't done a lick of work. No, it was crazy. I had to hire a writer. They were like, yes. They, they work there. I don't know. I, I showed up with two jokes. They're like, you need nine jokes per topic. It was crazy. I was working around the clock. Wow. It was horrible. Ten to- I stayed up all night. I did it all night or I crammed all day. I had yep. books open. Like at midnight back in the day. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. It was like that times 10 for like oh, two weeks. 
I never did at midnight, but mm. that show was, uh, it was a lot of work. But they did pay us. It is like classic hey. us, though. They're like, we're going to give you a shitload of money to come out and do a TV show. We're like, all right, I'm, I'll do it. I'm not going to do any work, though. <laughs> yeah. I'll just take the trip. We're comedians. Remember yeah. that breakfast, though, at that hotel? Woo! That was something else. Unbelievable. I like the, the International the Lounge. You get the, the beans with the eggs. I kind of like. Oh, I hate the International Lounge. Uh, uh, it's just different. It's just, I'm it's different. The, yeah, I don't know. But it makes you realize we're number one, baby. We got a croissant, and uh, which I guess is French. But we got, uh, <laughs> we got all kinds of good stuff. Look at this pile of miscarriage it's over different. here. It's different. That's an English breakfast. You got that right. Yeah, that's all Brit. That's uh, that's what Sarah Sarah's mother makes. Sarah's mother's British. Did you guys know that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> All right. She, can yeah. she cook? No. You know, well, I want to say she does really good salads, but she is. This sounds so horrible, but she doesn't season anything. Right. Yes. They everything. The steaks are dry. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Bad food. Bad weather. Bad teeth. Yeah, vaginas bad food, are bad too. Dry. <laughs> yeah. Dry vaginas. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. The whole family. <laughs> it rains so much. <laughs> Get a little moisture Fine. down there. Not on social media. Nah, we're okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Th- look at that. Sorry. I've told, I tried to do this on stage and it never really hits the way I want it to hit. But this is a, a story about Sarah's mother. When Sarah's father passed away, RIP, my mother sent a fruit basket, like a big fruit basket to the house. And we're all hanging out. Thoughtful. And after like three days... Sarah or Sarah's sister's like, Ma, why don't you open the fruit basket? She goes, oh, no, that's Joe's. His mother sent it. <laughs> like, oh, wow. Like her mother. Joe needs his fruit right now. <laughs> her mother thought my mother was like, get Joe his fruit. He's got to have his scrapes or else. It has to be in a basket, too. That's like, wild. Which gave me a window into Sarah. I'm like, is this, this is how you were written. Like, your mother has such low self-esteem. She's like, I can't open. That's got to be. I don't want to be a bother. Yeah. yeah. It's probably like the motto of English, even though they colonize everything she thinks oh, your yeah. mom she thinks your mom's just sending you a basket of 80 dollars pears yeah <laughs> just some, just some <laughs> wherever you go joe's always eating pears uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pears of pussy oh, oh. <laughs> my boys <Pear> tits <laughs> oh, hell yeah dude yeah I, I hate a fruit basket you ever gotten an edible arrangement no. no. It stinks. Sorry. It's just like mangoes on sticks and stuff. Well, it You're just like, would go stale, I would assume, with flies around it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's bad. Now they got these uh, boxes of food they send you, and they put like an ice cube in the bottom. Okay. But the ice cube always melts, and the food goes bad. Well, it's like one time Joe, for a podcast, Factor sent- an, Factor! They sent in all this food, but we weren't home because they didn't reach sponsor. out, and it just went- <laughs> It went stale on her doorstep, like a thousand dollars worth of food. I, was no, I, I, I got it sent to me, and it was out there for like a month, and it's still delicious. Factor, <laughs> you guys are crushing it. Factor rules. It's the best. We love it. Love Factor, Sarah. Sorry, faux pas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We blew it. You should call ahead of time to let us yeah, know when true. Like a week's mm. worth of food is coming. They might have. I probably ignored it. <laughs> yeah, good point. Look at that. That looks. It looks like a lot. See, when hobos get hip to Factor, they're gonna be eating like kings. They're gonna. Be they're already porch pirates stealing everything. When they find a factor box, that's that's food for a week. Porch you need, pirate. You need a microwave, don't you? No. That's Hobos, need... they need out of the trash. Yeah. They're not going to be like, oh, this is, uh, is going to need a microwave <laughs> oven. <laughs> <laughs> They're eating garbage. <laughs> All right, what is that factor? Uh, oh, I was just going to say porch pirate. Sounds like I, I, I clammed up. It sounds like a slur. Yeah. I was like, oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Like a gay slur. It does. Wait, no. yeah. <laughs> That's butt pirate. Butt pirate. A butt pirate. Yeah. Classic. Porch pirate be, uh, I guess, black. Yeah, there is a black one that's close to yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. geez. All right. Yeah. That one's actually worse than pirate. Yeah. Yeah. Of yeah, course. pirate doesn't sound that bad. It sounds kind of fun. Arrgh. Ass hurts. <laughs> Absolutely. Like discovering new land. Oh, I made a butthole yeah. awaits. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Ooh, you pull out the telescope and then you put it at him. A vast ye penis. Yes. Hey, look at that butt yeah, pirate. Geez. There you go. Cute. Pillow biter is pretty clever. Whoever came up with pillow biter, that guy deserves a high five. I never heard that one. What? Pillow biter? Yeah. yeah. Pillow biter. But pillow biter could also be a woman. Uh, or, you know, whatever. Uh, true, Whoever's true. biting the pillow. Well, a cocksucker would be a woman, too. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? Unlike Sarah. Yeah, not me, though. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Maybe a birthday. <laughs> Maybe. Remember the uh, hookup coupons? Is that a thing? Oh, My yeah, I've heard about that. that. It's like a good, it also sounds like a good premise. 
Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. You know, like this is good for one hand job, one BJ. But I don't want my loved one, Joe, rocking them all up and I have to do them all in one night. Ooh. That's how you should do it. I would just get yeah. tired. Yeah. I got two pair over here, sweetie. <laughs> Some lipstick on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would get one of my mom, not a hookup one. When I was a kid, I was like, "Here you go, one free clean the the kitchen, one hug, you know, one uh, foot rub." You never did that? No. no. Um, Your mom a foot rub? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I get my own foot rubs all the time. Great. This son. is a Pulp Fiction dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't be tickling to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lewis and uh, Bobby did that one year on You Know What, Dude. It was like a free foot rub coupon or something There like you that. go. Somebody got one and had to rub a foot. A man's foot is appalling to it's me. It's awful. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> Any, anytime you, yeah, anytime I see a man's foot in like a sandal, I'm, I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. You have no. to take good care of your feet. No. No. The toenails are out of control. Oh, I could catch salmon with these things. Right. That's disgusting. I don't know why you guys don't yeah. like cutting your toenails. It's all the way down there. We're longer than you. We're <laughs> taller and less yes. flexible. You can't get down there. We're not Dude, I don't, flexible. But, no, we just don't Maintain. Dude, I didn't know you had to wash your face until like two weeks ago. <laughs> no, I didn't wash my face seriously until I, I was in my 30s. You know, I, I, ne- I just started like, I'm not kidding. I, I, Tommy Pope mentioned it in Austin. And he's he, a I handsome like, guy. I was like, man, you got like great skin. And he was like, wash my face. And I was like, oh, I know, I've never done that. And he goes, you've never washed your face? I was like, no, I've never so done what do it. what do you do? I just, just go to bed with the chemicals wet. on my face, I guess. I don't know. No, but, but like in the, in the shower. shower do I don't wash your face. No, wet? I don't get it. Yeah, it, what? Gets, it gets wet. You get it wet. I'm I the, like I was good enough. I was the same way for wash years cloth? and years. No. no. Whoa. Wait, have you heard the rumor? Washcloth. Like, I mean, I, I know of jizz rag. I've never heard of a yeah. washcloth. Yeah, I don't have one either. Yeah. Oh, my kid. We're white. Weird. <laughs> Which That's rumors? The rumor that like a lot of white people don't wash their legs. I never do. I don't. I do. I don't even know I had legs. But that's like crazy uh, not to wash your legs. I don't do lotion. I don't do anything. I but do a little lotion. Lotion when you have the time. Lotion you got to start because I think you look like an old crinkly asshole, <laughs> especially with the whiskey. <laughs> yeah. That ages you. You'll start looking like an old asshole soon. Well, what you about these voice stogies? Voice? That can't be helping the crackle. Well, I smoke outside and occasionally. You know, I'm not smoking all day, every day. The- mm-hmm. But I, th- I mean, look at me. I got a. I'm twinkling over here. That's a nice uh, <laughs> epidermis you got. Yeah, there. you look. You got a glow. I steam. The steam room's big. Steam is big. Steam sober. Is big. Moisturizer. 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 There you go. Whatever it is. But you wash your legs because you shave with it every yes. couple months. Every few months. Yeah. 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 You gotta wait to get the good shave. Where are you guys at with leg hair in the bedroom? On her or me? On her. Uh, some guys are like, get the fuck out hair? of the bed. You like women have leg hair. Like stubble, not oh, full like leg stubble. hair. That I wouldn't do. Oh, like the the goosebumps is fine. I don't, you know, the <laughs> goosebumps. Bumps, the great book. The pricklies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll go stubble because I know that she's been shaving. But if you get a full on hippie chick with the uh, oh. Robin Williams arms in there, oh, that's the, not happening. Not a fan of the armpit hair. No. Oh. No. I, I, I know that's like, people. they think it's empowering. But to me, it's just like, you know. There's a hot, smoking hot waitress at one of the comedy clubs. I'm not going to get specific. But she's very hot. And the other day, she's she did one of these, yeah, and I saw a big old Richard Simmons come out of there. I almost quit working that club. She got drafted to the Memphis Grizz- Grizzlies. Or <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. That out, God damn it. <laughs> Sarah, armpit hair thoughts? I actually think it's cute. Ah. And rem- did you ever remember like the first Playboy that Madonna did? She had armpit hair. No way. Yeah. Really? Back Pull it up. Yeah. Playboy? The, it, I think it was her photos that she took from a photographer and then he sold them to Playboy, but they had, she had armpit hair. Interesting. Well, oh. if you're the sexiest woman on earth, I'll allow second it. Second to the left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, oh, see, that's, that's, is that Madonna though? Doesn't that doesn't look, look like, like Madonna. Face. It's got a slopey nose. That's her. Oh, oh but hair. there it is. Oh, that's her with the hair. They put it right on the crease of the page. Yeah. That was smart. Yeah, that's good. She's insisting on the uh, armpit hair, and they're like, we'll put it in the crease. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I get it that it's like uh, counterculture. She's pushing back on the man, but uh, not a fan. But I think, it's very though. Euro. Yeah. Oh, boy, she had a body, huh? Yeah, she's tight. That's actually a lot of armpit hair. <laughs> More than me. Well, she's Italian. Oh, gross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she probably has that on back. But don't you find, though, I mean, you're in a long-term relationship, uh, like you guys both are, right? I mean, like, sure. uh, we've been together for 37 years. Yep. Damn. After a while, 
armpit hair. I'm not suggesting this, but like you can get into anything different. That's like true. Like we went to Paris. Sarah was chain smoking cigarettes. Which, by the way, I was like, we're in Paris. We should smoke cigarettes. Sarah smoked about 40 in 10 minutes. <laughs> really? Wow. I'm a smoke. Or I used to be a smoker. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I smoked for years. And I wish you didn't do all your care in the baby, but. <laughs> I know. Well, <laughs> small birth weight. Um... <laughs> He's tiny. <laughs> Preemie. <laughs> But yeah, I was like, wouldn't that be fun? But I love We're a in- cigarette if well, I I'm get like, to have one. I'm like, when in Rome, Cafe Society, and Sarah's like, that might be fun. And yeah. then like, she's got like three at a time. She's like, <laughs> I was like, she's like Bill Ari and Royal doing, Tenenbaums. She was doing coke. Whenever I'm in a guy. casino, I, I, whenever I'm in a casino, I'll, I'll start smoking stogies. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, fun. Really? It's cool. I get the respirator whenever I'm in a casino. By the way, I, I don't oh, know if yeah, this yeah. is common uh, knowledge out there. I just went to a movie yesterday with Ari. He's smoking. He's, they got the, they got a hold on him. He's smoking cigarettes like a regular Whoa. guy. He's Is, 48 years old. He's just smoking. When your friend starts smoking at old, 48, you're like, yeah. It's only when you're in high. I get high school, but when you start smoking at 25, that's kooky. It's weird. Well, Ari also gets a mohawk, you know, every two months. So. <laughs> starts riding a skateboard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like Bart Simpson. Over yeah, he's wearing a suit head. like the Riddler. I thought that was his most offensive look. Which one? The one where he had the bald man. Party. Oh, that was for the oh, bachelor party. Yeah. The mustache? Yeah. That was ugly. Uh, not even the most offensive thing at that bachelor party. That's true. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Mario's handsome when he goes high and tight, yeah. which he has right now. Yeah, when, he goes, when he goes normal. Yeah. Handsome's a stretch, obviously. It's <laughs> weird because he, he looks better. Wow, that's rough. He looks like, uh, like a terrorist. Osama bin Laden. Yeah. Jesus. He, uh, he looks better now than he did in like the early 2000s when he had that kind of dewy Long curl hair. yeah with the crazy glasses he looked really bad even before that because that's he's getting it together here well men get more attractive it's one of the cruel things oh, about life men fair. get more attractive and women go to shit yeah soon i mean not yet luckily yeah it yeah, happens I'm any scary. minute <laughs> and i'm out i'm on the edge his jewish hair looks like horns it's not good <laughs> this looks like it was drawn by a, a nazi artist Oh, yeah. Oh! oh what are you doing? Is that him? That's him. Yikes. That's appalling. Looks like Alan Lefkowitz. What yeah. the hell? <laughs> you get Hamas now. <laughs> How about Alan? Did you watch Alan with Colin Quinn? I saw that. I love, I love Alan. Me too. He's 78, wow. though. I thought he was 73. He's 78? 78. He says it on the thing. Wow. That's Trump's age, I believe. Yeah. Damn. Similar guys. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm the greatest therapist of all time. That's a that's a good soda, Alan. Whoa, you're a pussy. <laughs> I think I do a better Alan than uh, than soda. You gotta wear cert. Do, have we have we cert. all go to Alan? Yeah, all Alan. Four. I don't anymore. The whole game. I did for a long time. I love, love Alan. Falling you, out. You you pulled out. Yeah, I think I'm I'm good for now. Yeah. Blue card again. That was ugly, Ari. Yikes. Oh, oh mama. Oh, he looks you. exactly the like. Show? He looks exactly like uh, what's his toes in um, old school at the beginning. The director, what's Todd, his name? Todd Phillips. Todd Phillips. He looks yes. just like Todd Phillips in the "I'm Here for the Gang Bang" scene. That's right. I mean, that's like dead on. Oh, JFL. I heard JFL's coming back with different ownership. Oh. Netflix. I don't think Netflix. Oh. Interesting. Mossad. Hmm? Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thinking of Ari. <laughs> ah, I got you. We're just watching. What? Well, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that we're you just guys watching are TV, parents, man. It's uh. Are you, are you enjoying it? What? Parenthood. Having a kid? Yeah. Oh, I'm enjoying it the most right now. This is ideal. Yeah, it gets yeah. it gets better every day. But the first really? three months are so brutal and I they do they always make it like it's so hard, but they don't it's not as it's harder than you think it is. No sleep. It's psychotic. Screaming, shitting. It doesn't make sense. Really? Yeah. And then you're by yourself a lot, I feel like. Well, right. Because we switch off, so oh, we're never in the same room together. Interesting. Right. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was pretty rough. And also, because the beginning, the baby can't see, and he doesn't know, or, or she, they don't know who you are. Sure. And so any one of us could just go in there. So there's not even like, yeah, this guy. Right. So they don't even, they're not even re- reciprocating. They're, you get nothing out of it. You get nothing. <laughs> yeah. And then they're up, you're up all night, and they cry crying and it's not fun no it's a nightmare that's uh, i wanted sorry no that's it well we we're all about reaction you know we want to kill we want to do well and you're just bombing with this baby all day yeah it's worse than bombing (laughs) like because it's like it actually hurts your feelings Mm. you bomb a corporate gig you're like fuck these people i'm never gonna see him again it's a corporate gig and you got a check right like i would start taking it personally 
as if like Whoa. maybe there's something deep down inside he knows about <laughs> me <laughs> right that he like he's rejecting me right now but there's sweet moments but it was tough and then trying to go do podcast it was tough but now it's like amazing it's the best it's yeah. wonderful yeah he's cute like, doug, i love it doug key has a six month yeah old? he's like a few two months behind us yeah something like that and uh he's like you get a smirk of a smile and you're like oh my god i love this fucking thing. it's a game changer after well, really? that. yeah yeah now like last night i ran home like cusack to get home before we went to bed and uh, i like opened the door and he was like what and they oh. jogs over, or jogs. He crawls Whoa. over and stuff. And now you can get him to sweet. laugh, which feels good. Ooh. He laughs real hard. He smiles, and then now he like goes to bed on me. Like he's like that stuff is really That's sweet, nice. and you feel like um, yeah. But stuff. I do. There is a time where I felt like it. W- it felt like you're an MC of a show that never ends. That you mm. constantly have to keep bringing the energy <laughs> because you can't be like rest your face like you have to be like excited you know what i mean right like, give him a motion motion you're fuqua yeah <laughs> you're already you're going long yeah, you're yeah. i'm dancing <laughs> picking up the purse i'm trying to entertain him the whole time <laughs> i'm trying to figure out what toys he likes yeah. it's just i like it makes me want to smoke a cigarette every now and then well it sounds like you might start yeah <laughs> but you get you get those people that like when the baby goes to bed they have a they crack a beer and all that stuff yeah sure but, sure and also, it's hard to do. Now, like last week, I was—I've been on the road a bunch. When I come home, I had no spots all week, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I was like, "This is how I want to live my life now." Because you spend the whole day with the baby, it ends. You're like, "Great, I'm going to watch the the socks or whatever." Yeah, yeah, you become a homebody. It does make it harder to um, go out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is tough. Don't don't you ever think how the hell did babies survive in the Middle Ages? Because they need so much. A lot of them didn't. Yeah, I most think of you them have didn't. Eight. Like, even you have like a like, lot of oh, yeah, babies. Eight. That's true. You have, just you keep pushing them out until they. It's like guards. It's a you just game. throw them at the wall. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Even but, Lincoln lost like so many kids. Really? You go back to like the 1800s. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Honest Abe. Or like yeah. farm accidents. Yeah. <laughs> like they would just work. That was the other thing. Back in the day, you had a staff. Yeah. You know, it was like eight kids were now plowing the field and milking the cow. Now we're plowing the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, folks. <laughs> Not us. <laughs> We're thinking about fucking a, a baby because people they diddle babies, but like, yeah, you know, not fucking a baby. I hope you can't. How do you kind of fuck a baby? I always wondered yeah. that. Like that bee hole is like it's like a, a thread in a needle. We'll be right back. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now a word from Factor. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking to shape up your body hair. Get the package that takes care of it all. Manscaped's beard and balls bundle has you covered from head to toe. Featuring the lawnmower 5.0 for below the belt and the beard hedger for the money maker. You'll be all set. The lawnmower comes with two interchangeable blade heads so you can switch up your style with ease. And the beard hedger comes with 20 different length options for maximum personalization. These are great. And look, I, I trim my balls down there out of respect for the community and for my partner. And uh, it's just good. You don't want to be in a swimsuit. The hair's busting out. Your kids are like, what the fuck? Your kids, any kids. I don't know why there's so many kids in this scenario. I'm sorry. I'm rambling here. The point is, this is a very good device, and uh, you don't want to use the same crusty razor on your balls and your face. It's gross. You're better than that. So treat yourself with Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code DRUNK at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code DRUNK at Manscaped.com. No more juggling multiple tools or dealing with subpar results. Just efficient, effective grooming wherever you need it. Hey, hey, folks, We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Hymns. Guys, we don't always know when that intimate moment's going to come up. Make sure you're ready with Hymns. Hymns is a treatment that can help you stay hard and last longer, giving you confidence wherever you need. You'll get access to a range of doctor-trusted ED treatments, chewable hard mints, well, like Viagra, Cialis, or the generic versions, but for 95% off. Whoa! You never know, folks. Take that pill. I love Hymns. Rock hard, plowing the pregnant wife. She's loving it. Thank God for hymns. This has got to be the thing old people are the most mad about. Like back in my day, we had to walk eight miles uphill and we had no boner. Now everybody's got a boner. You don't need insurance. Pay one low price for treatments, online visits, ongoing shipments, and provider messaging. Don't let ED get you down. Get it up with hymns. Start your free online visit today at hymns.com slash drunk. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash drunk for your personalized ED treatment options. 
Hims.com slash drunk. The product mentioned are chewable compounded products which are not approved by or verified for safety or effectiveness by the FDA. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Woo! Ready to make every game way more exciting? Joy's prize picks and get in on the action. It's America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active members. It's easy to play, unlike those other apps. It's just you against the numbers. All you do is pick more or less on uh, two to six player stat projections. Cashing out your winnings takes as little as 15 minutes. Uh, I mean, yeah, give this a shot. Very cool. They even got an injury insurance policy, so your lineups stay in play even if one of your players gets hurt. And a cool deal for this month, one Caleb Williams passing yard gets you one win on prize picks every week in September. Download the prize picks app today and use code DRUNKS and get $50 instantly when you play $5. That's code DRUNKS on prize picks to get $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed prize picks. Run your game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's all right. But I think, um, yeah, this is, I think, I think it's more, yeah, uh, probably not intercourse so much. I thought there was a dog. I didn't even realize there's like a living creature right Ringy. there. Oh, yeah. It's hilarious. Dude. That's much easier to fuck. <laughs> nah, yeah. she will not like it. But um, no, it's great. It's awesome. It's fun. And then you miss, you, you have somebody to miss, you know, because I don't miss Sarah, but I miss the baby. Mm. Sure, yeah, sure. Well, like you separate from him. Or you, and then you just look at photos of your friend. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't do that for any other friend, but then I'm like, when I go uh, to bed, yeah. I'm just like looking at photos of my baby. Yeah, yeah. of course. No one thinks they're going to be the parent who shows other people the kid photo, but every parent has done it in my existence. Yeah, well, you know when you're you gonna do, do it. it I'm going to do it, I guess. But you're so, you're like, he's so fucking cute. Of course. But I, I get it. I but, don't want to talk about it. Right. Well, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be the party bummer. But yeah. also, can I say this, and this is why you'll do it, is it's also like a natural, you know, because we're uncomfortable socially with strangers. So it's a natural progression of like, oh, don't you have a baby? Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, you want to see it? Like, it gives you, it's not like I want to show people my baby. Right. It's just like the natural thing of like, oh, this is what you say next. It goes it's, with the conversation. It's the same as being like, boy, it's been really hot. Like, like, you're like, I don't actually give oh, a yeah, shit to say sure, it's hot out. Sure. It's yeah, a small talk. Yeah. Being polite. Yeah. yeah. It just then gives they show you... you a photo of their baby and you're like, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> like, right, right. Don't give a shit about your baby. Yeah. Wouldn't well, you love to do that just once? Because everybody goes, oh my God, how about that? I just go, eh, huh. I don't care. It's ugly. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, like every other baby. Yeah. But it, also, I'm the guy now that I always hated where I'm like going to watch a movie and I'm like, ooh, a new crime doc. It's like, ah, it's a child abduction. No. Ah, I don't want to watch oh, that. I you know? thought about that. Yeah, you got to like, ah. But Manchester's by the Sea is still my favorite film. <laughs> what about- uh, <laughs> we, we just watch it all the time. We have it on repeat. Yeah, <laughs> just going. Now it's a fantasy. It's like Goodfellas <laughs> and then Manchester by the Sea. Yeah, great movie. <laughs> Both of them. But don't, uh, what about like strippers? You go to a strip club. Do you kind of go, ah, that was a baby. The, where's the mom? Where's the dad? Are you still cool with that? I don't think Joe's going to strip clubs. Are yeah. You? I'll go to strip clubs, you idiot. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Another word from Factor. Yes. Um, no, I don't see it. I don't look. I mean, I haven't been to a strip club in a long time, but I don't. Like porn. I'm not saying strip club. It could be anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You know what? You don't really watch porn either. I kind of no. think that. If you're watching like... child porn, you're like, this could be a yeah, art <laughs> <laughs> No, but when the hot women walk by and I stare at their ass as they pass, I'm not like, ah, oh, you idiot, that was a baby. Okay. I'm like, no, I want to come on that butt. <laughs> yeah. What about when a baby goes by? Like, decent um, ass. No, when, I, when a baby walks by, I'm like, nope, not as cute as ours. Okay. Not as cute as ours. That's horse shit. I cannot wait to see how much cuter my baby is than yours. But what about the fact that it's your baby? What do you mean? How do you know it's actually cute? You're, you're going to be biased. No, you true, can tell. But- no, you can yeah. tell. 
I've never. I've seen some ugly babies out there. I've never heard a parent go, "Damn, my kid's pretty ugly." They can't say it, but I, they they. You think they know? Of course, I don't they know. know. I don't know about that. Plus, we get the reaction. Everyone's like, "Oh my god, it's like a Gerber baby." It Holy is shit. It's like next level. I think his blues. eyes are pretty. Big Beautiful. blues. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic baby. Oh, let's pull up some real this ugly. Is the best baby. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, that, that one four in from the left is oh, the thing from Star Wars. Yeah, the admiral. The admiral. Right. Ooh, 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 the fish. Yeah, that's the Admiral Fish guy. And then there's Mr. Bean all the way on the back right. Even that one, I'm like, that one's cute. That's normal looking. Which one? The second deck. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's all right. That's unfair. Well, some of these are early, too. (laughs) Early, early. Some of them just look, that top, go to the top left. That that, that one's second. Yeah, that that one just kind of looks like Ed Harris. Right. (laughs) (laughs) That's not that bad. He just looks like an older baby. It also takes time. Like, it, 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 you know. They cued out more. Right. It's also, but I always feel like our baby looks like an old banker. He's old banker. Uh, like a president head. I can see He's that. He's got a huge Kennedy head. He kind of looks like Truman. Yeah. Big Irish head on this baby. Oh, there is Mr. Bean. Okay. But I have seen ugly babies. Oh, that one looks like a ball sack. It's all wrinkly. Look at the today. Good Lord. Yeah, some of these are bumming That's like me out. A nose job. The black one's not bad. Mom goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one's that's, cute. That's Beetlejuice. You'll cute out. Howard Stern. Oh, that yeah. one will cute out. <laughs> Oh, See, yeah. I feel like our kid looks like that one next to the grown man baby. There's Gillis. <laughs> like, has that kind of look. Uh-huh. Old man look. Oh, wow. Look at that. Well, it's a shame because we decided we're not going to put the baby online. He's a private being. That's an adorable That's baby. That's a good looking kid. Yeah, that baby looks like an, an adult baby, though. It looks yeah. like... He looks like he runs like a, a law firm or something. Mm-hmm. But you have this thing where you're like, we're not putting the baby online. And then he comes out so goddamn adorable. That I you're like, you I could really it. blow up my shit. Uh, I feel like I could sell some really tickets. on a baby it. page. Yeah. You're like, I really. True. What about modeling? Would you do? Would you be down for that? No. No. I ah. just feel like there's so many weirdos in True. that world that I just, even as an adult, there's weirdos. Yeah, right. it's also just weird. Uh, then you can recognize people's. I just like watch children. that Nickelodeon doc, and you're like, that they're just pedophiles all out. Like you hate being like such right wing talking point of like QAnon, but you're right. Like, there are just too many weirdos out there. There really are. Well, also you talk about this all the time when you go to Houston. You're like, oh, there's these two kids. I, that know, I know. Yeah, it's like I thought it was weird, and then when Facebook started coming out, I would see my friend. She wasn't really like in my circle of friends, but I, my graduating class was 900. But I knew her through soccer, and I saw her two boys just riding bikes around our neighborhood, and I was like, "It's so weird that I know their name and they know nothing about me." Uh, yeah, but I could just be like, you. "Oh, blah blah blah, get in the car." Your do- your mom, oh, Julie, said, right. "Yeah." Wow. I didn't think about that. Like I know all this information about her. That's why I was like, that's. I just think that's weird when you put your kids, you put so much information. Yeah, you can really walk up and be like, hey, Pete, I'm yes. a, I know how you love, you play Little League and you won your game two weeks ago. I know how, how much you love candy, too, if you want to hop right. in real quick. And, right, exactly. What your dad masturbates to, because I listen to all of his podcasts. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, your mom puts a shoe in your dad's butt. <laughs> yeah. Begrudgingly, but he still comes. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That's Finding your dad's podcast is the new finding your dad's porn, because it's just like... Like, you're going to be like, ah, I love getting jizzed on by men. You I know, know that's going to be we a real. We have talked about that, like, soccer games, and they're like, yeah, we've heard Joe's podcast. Right. Yeah. But no, we're all of our. Be pretty yeah. common, I think. Well, I attempted a job uh, years ago at this, like, financial firm. It was really nice. And this guy was like, hey, I heard you on Ari's podcast. Oh. And I was so mortified that this guy that I was like a this like business yeah. guy dude that was proper that heard me I forget that it's on a, that podcast but if he listens to Ari's role. podcast right. he's, oh, cool. he's probably okay good point totally but at the same time you're like I don't want to discuss what I talked about yeah on the podcast well it's weird like we're gonna have like parent teacher conferences and they're gonna be like oh you don't shave your pussy that often <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> the principal's like were you in come town yeah exactly that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so that's a little weird yeah. yeah that is weird not to mention the amount of uh, bad bad boy words with you oh yeah yeah it's gonna be a, a kid's bar mitzvah like 
I'm a big fan of Legion of Skanks. You know? right. yeah. <laughs> the rabbi loves that. <laughs> well, we have that right now. Like we're going down to the Cape and uh, my nephew is like, can I bring my girlfriend? We rented a house. And I'm like, yeah, sure. They're like 15. But then you're like, if this girl's parents like do a quick Google search, it's just yeah. me on our podcast being like, all right, fuck a kid. We'll see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, what is this? That's yeah. true. Well, we had that one. Like my sister was like, I bought tickets for joe's show and bring mom with and we had to put a kibosh on that your mom yeah because oh, i was boy. like you can't hear joe be like come on your mom's tits yeah. you know like you're saying well it's hard because yeah, she's not gonna get it and also she's like uh, she doesn't even get what i i think she thinks i'm a sex worker <laughs> oh she doesn't even get fruit baskets right <laughs> well yeah sarah's mother is like um you know quite sophisticated she's like an intellectual british woman like i would never talk about fucking sarah in front so it's weird to have her come to a show and i'm like yeah in order to get my wife to come i gotta stick a thumb in her asshole yeah and she's, she's like you? what no i don't think so I, and we have a thing if she watched on youtube it's like at least you're removed from it or whatever yeah but just lie and then seeing her after and then, yeah. like, dinner afterwards yes. yeah it's like well we all have different versions of our son like i'm not showing that side of me to yeah. a 72 year old british right. intellectual yeah of course and on stage you're heightened and you're trying to be funny but you forget that people don't really talk like we talk in the no. real world i dropped the c word around people that weren't comics thinking yeah you know i, I just throw it out willy-nilly and they were like offended oh, isn't that weird <laughs> it is like they made me feel bad yeah that i was just like but it's not that big of a deal i was just kind of like can we just pretend i'm in england <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I tell the story i tried to do it on stage but one time i was at starbucks and my app wasn't working and i was like oh sorry my app's being t and the woman was like oh <laughs> i was like oh so i just met I, I hang out with fucking animals I yeah never, like, shitty nothing to me no and you're oh. talking about a phone yeah I don't yeah. get offended whatsoever. But saying "tea" in a work environment. She makes that face. Like, now you're being yeah, 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 don't you? Don't look, you. At you. look at that face. <laughs> don't be a twat. You. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so true. I did a show in uh, Louisiana. My whole family came out. Mom, dad, cousins, aunt, uncle. It was brutal. I'm trying to clean it up in real time. I'm like, <laughs> and that flipping cum shot, you know, you're like, oh, what am I doing? And then we all had dinner later, and it was so quiet and weird. It was brutal. Damn. It was, do you think they didn't enjoy it, or they were just too proper? I think we just were waspy, you know, uh, Gentiles in Louisiana, so we all just pretended it didn't happen and kept going and talked about uh, Trump getting shot. Well, that's what's weird, too, about clips sometimes. Like, we have a company that will do clips for our podcast, and they're like, let's throw this out there. And it's like, I'd rather come in a woman's face than have a man come in my face or whatever. <laughs> and then black. <laughs> and, and, and then you're like, well, my, like, sister-in-law and niece and aunt aren't listening to an hour of us talk, but, like, uh, Instagram, that'll pop up. I know. And I'm I like, know. now I got my... Sister-in-law and brother-in-law being like, huh, I guess he likes man jizz in his face or whatever. I want, you know who else did this? Is, uh, <laughs> so true, though. You, man jizz. It's the worst fucking part, and that's how they right. rope you in. Uh, I know. You know who must deal with this is rappers. You know, like, you ever listen to, like, a Cardi B song? It's like, then he no. put his dick in my ass, and I, I screamed uh, fast or whatever. I can't rap. Uh, but... Do they go to lunch? I guess they don't have parents, rappers. <laughs> I assume. <laughs> They're just like made in a lab. Yeah, yeah. but those, those songs, those Nicki Minaj and Megan the Stallion. She's pretty good. Is she? I mean, good. I'm not saying they're not talented. I'm just saying it's filthy stuff. Yeah. I mean, Wet Ass Pussy is the name of a song. That's the title. Yeah. Who knows what's in the tune? Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the oldest sounding you've ever know. been. Don't listen. Who knows what these kids are doing out there? <laughs> Jive turkey. Like, so silly that it's not so offensive, but I remember like Two Life Crew. Oh, Their filthy. songs would be like, bitch thought I was coming in her mouth, but I was just peeing. Where Whoa. I feel like... <laughs> It's also just rude. It is rude. <laughs> it's so rude. Yeah, just disrespectful. Cool. But like, how do you hang out with your girlfriend's parents Yeah. after you have that lyric? But I'm sure that's not their concern. I yeah. guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's ultimately the problem with the world we're living in. And this happens also every once in a while when like, I think Tracy Morgan got in trouble years ago. People say something in a comedy club right. or Louie, and then it gets taken out. And you're like, but that wasn't for everybody yeah that was for the people in this room it's the same with like the podcast i'm like this is for 
this group of people listening, if you take this out and put it over in that other world, we look like psychopaths. That's sure. crazy. Like, I'm not... I don't want this in my mother-in-law's living room. No. This is for these, uh, you yeah. know, virgins over here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> these, uh... no, my mom would say stuff to me like, you know, I, was, I, felt, I saw this clip of you and I was really offended. I was like, well, it wasn't for you. Right. Yeah. right. It was for someone else, but that's, you know. But in their world, it's on the internet. But I have to say. So it's public. Yeah. They should, I, guess. I don't think. I get annoyed when I have family members or people in my life tell me that where I'm like, you could just keep that to yourself. Not like, my yeah. mom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she needs to tell me. And she'll start with as your as your mother. I'm like, I know who you are. I know uh, as your mother. I know it's coming. As a woman, <laughs> I know you're a woman. Mom. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I know what you mean. I would love it if she kept it to herself. We we've had arguments over. But, yeah. You know. But at least we have an outlet. I'd rather deal with some of this backlash and have awkward dinners with my folks every now and then than just keep it buttoned up for the rest right. of my life at some bank job. Oh, it's more fun to be outrageous. Yeah. yeah. And it's just who we are. I don't even think we're trying to be that outrageous. No. Yeah. I'm actually dialing it back. We're silly geese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but can you imagine going through life in a cubicle and all that? I mean, I I, I used to work in uh, corporate America. It was it was not easy. I need a clip of Mark farting on Yamanika and then being like, I'm dialing it back. <laughs> <laughs> this I is me. This is the buttoned up me. I was going to piss in her mouth. <laughs> imagine farting on Yamanika. <laughs> oh, it was terrifying. She was not happy. I was. There was a risk. It was a real it risk. It was a risk that Did paid off. Did you get off. rewarded? Oh, she flipped. <laughs> oh, jeez. She flipped, but we got the clip. Well, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nate was another one did not like the fart. Oh, do you see that clip? I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nate, no, that's not Nate's it's cup of so tea. It's so funny. There's people that actually cannot stand farting. Oh, yeah. Well, Louie, I told you, Louie's, uh, we've been close for a long time. I've never heard him fart one. He's never once lifted a leg and been like, Burp. and we were at the, uh, like, Four Seasons, first night on the tour for Mark. <laughs> I'd been on the tour for a while. I got to know the man. And we were in his room, and Mark just went on his bed and rolled over, put both ankles. <laughs> it just goes. I thought and he Louis loved it. was on the phone with room service, ordering food like this. <laughs> yeah, that was that's tough. a hard bomb. Yeah. Hard. Oh, there's but a it's clip so of worth Lu- it. There's it's a so clip funny. of Louis now it is. on the Daily Show back in the day where Louis like, if you don't find Farge funny, there's something wrong with you. Thank right. you. Well, I think he, uh, maybe he thought it was funny. I don't know. Maybe he was ordering. Uh, you know, I think it was the bed. I'm on his bed. The, the bed and yeah, the fact that he's ordering food. Yeah, right. and the legs of Kimbo. It's just like your poo particles everywhere. Yeah, I was <laughs> naked too. Well, <laughs> and at that point, I think you guys had spent like 80 minutes together. Yeah. It wasn't like your old pals. Yeah. You, you've taken some real fucking risks. Well, I'm a comedian. I love it. You I take mean, risks, but, but yeah. It, that is a big swing. Well, remember that Curb episode where he's like, your wife? Oh, no, your kid. He's got a pretty big dick. And he's like, how could you say my kid has a big dick? He's like, you can say my wife has nice dick. <laughs> and then later, Jeff is like, why would you say his kid's got a big dick? He goes, I took a risk. <laughs> and I've never related to a, a moment more in that show. I remember Colin not liking you from the get-go yeah, at Whiplash. Yeah. Wind didn't like you? Yeah, well, because DePaulo did Whiplash, if you can believe that. Wild. Which is insane. What? Yeah. Well, it's colliding. And then Mark went on after and was like, yeah, oh, this fucking Italian, whatever, whatever you said. And Get Colin was like, up. who the fuck is this kid? <laughs> Zinging Nick DiPaolo. What is he, crazy? You don't uh, do that. That's nuts. And he's like, fuck, I hope this kid dies. And uh, But now, now you guys are cool. Yeah, now Nick, cool. Nick likes you too now, right? Oh, yeah. We go way back. Big time. Yeah. We talked. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some good calls. No. But I mean, now who knows where he is now? No, he's great. He's on the Capitol steps or what? <laughs> 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 Just kidding, Nick. Two of the kings. He probably is there. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> He's Who listening knows? to this. He's like, I'm going to fucking kill that kid. <laughs> oh, people will message me every once in a while and be like, you got to stop. You can't have this man in your life. You piece of shit. He's good uh, on Twitter every now and then. Like, he'll zing Lewis or something, and it's pretty funny. Oh, he's great. He's going to Skagfest. Oh, great. All right. I can't wait to see him. That'll be good. I'll feel it out. I'll still steer clear, and I won't follow him. <laughs> no, he loves you. He does. Oh. He's great. Oh, okay. He said so. Oh, all right. Yeah. You guys got any peeves? Yeah. Oh, I got peeves. I got big peeves. I wrote down some peeves. I got one. I I did. I blew my wad on the last show, but I got a couple left. I think I got one. How about this? And this Please. is uh, pe- people aren't on my side. I'm in the minority here. Oh, I can't wait. And I don't know if this is a peeve. I don't understand these people. It doesn't. It bothers me, but it doesn't bother me. I'm unaffected by it. It's nice. Let me just say it. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. The Starbucks. I don't understand people that get in line. 
at the Starbucks drive through when the car, there's like 15 cars in the driveway, yeah. are in the drive through And my buddy's like, let's go to the drive through because he's what doesn't want to get out of the car, I guess. And I'm like, no, let me go in. And he's like, I don't like going in. I'm like, just pull over. So I'm like, please park the car. I'll get out. First of all, I like the steps. I like the dopamine, the serotonin from having an interaction. Agreed. And now what I do, the people are all, there's literally like 14 cars in line, and I'll wave to the people as I'm walking in, get my drink. There's literally zero people inside. I leave with my tea, and I, I knock on the window and go, huh? <laughs> it's crazy. These people would rather sit in their car for I'm 25 you. minutes just to not talk to anybody. I'm not with move. you. Yeah. It's not worth it. I don't get it. Or it's like the people that drive around looking for a parking spot, so they spend like 30 minutes when you could just park in the back and then five minutes to walk. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That doesn't make I sense. I think this stem like, from COVID on fat. some level. Like hmm. like the delivery guy used to have like the handoff. You gave him the money, remember back in the day? Yeah. And then COVID came and they just always left at the door and then that oh. just stuck. And I think people got used to like not any Interacting. interaction. Interacting is, is a bummer because you got to do a bullshit small talk, but- I'm with you on this because I think people want to sit in their car. They like the car. I, I notice people will go get food in my neighborhood and sit in their car and eat it, hmm. which so to sad. me is so sad. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather stand on the Impressive. sidewalk and eat it. But we do that on the road. We love it. We go to McDonald's uh, drive-thru, like and then McDonald's. we park and eat. That's fun. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That I find I'm But this, like I'm talking parking about parking lot of your work. I'm talking about yes. the middle of nowhere, yeah. yeah. Yeah, me and Salakus went to In N Out in LA and he wanted to do drive through and I said, Park it. This, the In N Out line is like a mile long in that driveway. God, it's a line. It's a yeah. brutal line. I don't But Chick fil A's line's pretty good. It moves oh, really? quick. Yeah, it moves okay. really quick. I just don't get it and uh, I like getting out of the car. But Sarah, this is a this is a thing I have this is a pet peeve with Sarah. I think this is psychotic. I try to do it as a bit. People don't even understand. <laughs> Please. We used to take a bus, now we're doing pretty well. But would take a bus the bus would pull into like burger king to stop and i'd be like all right let's go and she's like no nah, i'm gonna sit here oh uh, that's like, crazy you don't want to get off the bus that's wild well i just you're scared it's gonna pull away or something i think that there's a slight anxiety with mm -hmm. something like that don't take a cruise then yeah and I then leave you uh <laughs> i just always feel like i don't there's nothing important inside for me you get a but soda. Like, you don't want to stretch. You don't want to get air. Like she's I just breathing in bus air with her legs. <laughs> I could probably crushed. drive in a car for days. Really? I, yeah. I would. I would actually sometimes not get out on those things. I was just always scared they're going to leave you. But yeah, when you stand in the aisle of the bus, I even. get that way with um, entering a show, doing going on stage. Like I feel like I have to be like close to the stage. Uh -huh. I don't know what. I'm not one of those people that's like still getting out of their car right. or being introduced. Like I can't. That's crazy. I can't have that. Yeah. yeah. How about those people who they bring you up and they wait a little? They want to like absorb some of that applause and they start walking slow and you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> Get up there. How long do you expect these people to applaud oh, you? You're not even yeah, famous. Yeah. You're like a bullshit comic and they're like. <laughs> yeah. like Looking no one knows to the you. risers. Good yeah. Thing. I hate that. I also hate when comics do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not good. Drives me fucking crazy. Yeah. What are you, Hulk Hogan? <laughs> How about when uh, I did the LA Forum with Louie, this is like 10 years ago now, and Todd Glass was opening, and he brought up Louie, and then while Louie came on stage, they were giving him a standing, oh, Todd stood behind him like, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. doing this thing, and Louie got really upset, because like, after like 10 minutes, Louie just looked back and realized that Todd was still back there being like, uh, for me. That's really funny. Doing this? Oh, it was great. so funny. I mean, he didn't get really upset. He was, but he was like, what, what are you doing? That's like the problem's Louie. Uh, <laughs> like I, I don't want to put it out there gag. like he was mad, but. He doesn't like a good uh, <laughs> behind the back gag. That's it is great. hilarious. We got to have Louie on here, and you have to fart on him at some point. I promise I will. But it was, it's just funny though, from Louie perspective he's like made it to like the tippity sure. pointiest top of comedy and now more people are doing arenas back that like nobody was yes. doing arena he's at the la forum sold out they're going crazy and his buddy's doing a gag <laughs> i can he's see like that goof trooping That's behind amazing. him that is uh, actually pretty infuriating it's crazy but also hilarious Tom's yeah the best. well isn't it funny how comedians want to get laughs but they don't want to be the butt we don't want to be the butt of the joke real bad of course, yeah. Well, it depends on what the butt is. That's true. I got to be in on it, but I guess that's the butt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, there's a, the there's, there's a difference. I mean, like, because you're looking foolish in that situation. You don't want right. to look foolish. These are good peeves. I'm with you. You got to get off You got to get off the bus. Get some air. Yeah. But right, We're not taking a lot of buses these days. That's true. Thank you, folks. The, the cruise, though. I did a cruise, the Burt cruise, and we docked in the Bahamas. So you're like, I got to go see the Bahamas. But you do have that crazy fear of that thing 
ooh, ooh, and you're like, no, it's pulling away, and you're stuck on the Bahamas picking coke. I, 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 sure, I sure as fuck didn't get off the one cruise I did. There you but go. People did. I, I was like, I'm not. What, what if they pull away? Your, your like passport's on the boat. It takes forever to get off the cruise. Oh. Hmm. What? I think you bring the passport. It takes forever to get off it does. the cruise and then to get back on again. I know. But a cruise is different because a cruise, you have a bedroom, there's a pool. True. A bus, you're you on a walk- bus. <laughs> True. It's insane. And then also you could at least stand <laughs> by the door. Right. Like you could stand outside, breathe in the air, and not have the sun hit your face. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a, They're both fair peeves. I think they're good peeves. Good I peeves. think so. I might have more. Sarah, you got some peeves over Yeah, what do you got there, Stripey? Uh, well, I don't know if it's much of a peeve, but we were just talking about, like, you know in New York when hotels have pools and they act like it's great? And then, uh-huh. like, it's just a strip of water, <laughs> and I'm only allowed to be in here for 15 minutes That's and great. pay $100? It's like, have you guys been to other pools? I just don't, don't even offer it. Yeah, That's my feeling. and you may as well be a lobster in a tank with all the space you get in there. It's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> I know. I like to yeah. play. Olives. I like to swim around and thrash. Like, right. I'm not there. I can't. I'm not the sexy girl at the pool. You know, I'm not in a the photo a fanny shoot. at fancy or like a vanity bathing suit. Like I'm in my speedo, <laughs> wanting to bounce the ball around. Do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I want to swim course. laps. That's what I dude. Best thing for a hangover is just. It is. Swimming laps. You yeah. feel so good after. You know, the best thing is not drinking in the first place. <laughs> Don't you drink stay in school. <laughs> I said for <four> hangover. <laughs> it is. Because yeah. that used to be my hangover cure. And uh, it has to be yeah. cold water. Too. Cold it's gotta water. got to be yeah. cold water. Oh, my God. It's the best. Um, Barton Springs was always good Ooh, for that. Ooh, Texas gal. Yeah. But yeah, I, I hate a place that passes off something that's supposed to be cool I don't think I've ever one. been to one. I went to I had a TWA yeah. one, and I, uh, I like, didn't... can we just be honest? Sarah's talking about your birthday party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, my friend also showed me one in Midtown. She's like, I was thinking maybe this could be fun, and then we were just talking about like logistically, probably not. Yeah, well, they get even smaller. I mean, there's some some real. It's like a tub, right? It's like a rectangle and this big. You're hanging out with strangers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you get a tow in basically. It's like I like to go to Astoria pool, but they've made it so many rules. Like, you have to have a lining in your bathing suit. You have to take a shower. You're a not allowed line? to bring your... What do you mean a line? Like, for a, a lining. Uh, they check it. Like, like, you can't come in with a leotard. It's like Ellis Island you over might there. be naked. Wow. You, have to, you have to wear a swim cap in those a lot things, of minorities. too? No, but they, you have to take a quick shower. You're not allowed to bring your camera. You can't bring a towel. That's horrendous. It's uh, where, but then when you do go, you're like, I kind of understand why there are rules, because even with that amount of rules, it's still chaos i believe it it's weird I, I used to go to the rec center constantly and swim there and it's dude all old asian dudes and a lot of just old people who like who are there every day and somehow still fat huh right like, i'm like i thought this was like the healthiest thing you could do and you're looking at these guys body you're like you look like a fucking jellyfish you well know? There, there are certain accounts i watch uh, where i'm like they're working they put their workout videos all the time and i'm like it's been five years and i have not seen results <laughs> right from this person <laughs> like what are you doing that was an old uh, george carlin <laughs> bit about what's his toes the guy that just died richard simmons he's like richard simmons is proof you can work out all day every day and still look like shit <laughs> <laughs> damn that's Rest good in peace. Yeah. Didn't he just Damn. die? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, there was a guy who was like a famous walker <laughs> so cute, from New Orleans. Famous guy who was a walker. His holding was walking, and he died walking. Uh, mm. He had a heart what attack. Ironic. What's that guy's name? Ah, I can't think of his Forrest name. Gump? Dead uh, man Paul walking. Walker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Walker. He did die. Maybe he flipped his uh, car. <laughs> <laughs> his holding was like the walking guy. That was like his thing. You got to get out and walk. You got to get steps. And then he died, got a heart attack while walking. I always think that with these people that all talk about longevity, I'm like, you shouldn't talk about longevity until you're like 90. True. Because now that you're like 38, right. being like, this is how you live a long life. Right. I'm like, you're going to look like a jackass if you die. Yeah. I know. And it happens. Some of those guys have heart attacks. Wait, there's a lot of those guys that are like really into biohacking, and I look at them like, you look so gross. Oh, really? Like that one guy who's um, harvesting his son's blood. What? Do you know that one? He's like... Mm-mm. Yeah, he takes um, transfusion of his young son's blood and interjects it into, or injects it into hey, himself. Hey, that's not bad. Wow. He looks like I'll be right back. shit. Get the kid now, yeah. He looks like a, a a vampire. Pull him up. Biohack. I think that is the guy. Meet biohack blood injecting billionaire. Is the kid cool with it? 
Or is he doing it while he's sleeping? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but that just seems like some wild billionaire, well, it feels like, like 30 Rock story. Oh, I have seen this guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's too smooth. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's he's like, like uh, an plastic. android. Yes. Also, I oh, can't imagine dating someone like that. How old is he? Don't die, don't die, don't die. How old is he? It's a fish. He's 50 something, maybe. Oh, he looks good. Wow. Yeah, but he's too smooth. 46. Oh, he's, he's your age. It's weird to be this obsessed with it. Yeah, yeah get you're a not stubble. fun. No, definitely not fun. This guy's a nightmare to hang out with. I guarantee you. Hand this guy he a probably a goes Dorito, to bed at like seven p.m. You. Yeah. Oh my God, is that Grandpa? Jesus Christ! These guys are all fucking. Yeah, it looks guaranteed. sexual. <laughs> it does look a little funky. <laughs> This is, I, I think Matt Wright. Like, touching his stomach. He's like, that's, that's a sexual move for sure. Yeah, too intimate. Yeah, is I'm he, getting Is he a billionaire? Did it say billionaire? Gotta be. I'm like, what's his. Yeah, what is it? That touching his belly there. Hopefully well, I the think this sun. is the guy, too, that like eats like 1,975 calories a day and he eats the same thing at, at the same time every day. Sometimes you talk to these people, they're like, they get like ripped up and they're like, I eat uh, three grapes at 2 p.m. and yeah. at 9 p.m. I eat a bag of salad and at 10, I, I go to bed at 10.01. You're like, but you're not living a life. No. Yeah. That's true. You're living long, but Oh, we horribly. had a friend We all died 63. A, a, <laughs> oh, a rotisserie chicken. To get Wait, protein. bless you. I loved a rotisserie. Me I too. did too, but it's like to be like, sorry guys, I gotta leave. I gotta eat my <laughs> chicken. I don't even remember that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oof. How about this for a pee? Ah, that worse. Oh, uh, here he is that. with some Kardashians. Man, that guy is smooth. Yeah. What? What's your pee? Uh, well, this one's kind of easy and hacky, and we've all seen it. But it happened to me I'm... so bad the other day that I couldn't. The lady at the restaurant. Who ha who orders a ton of shit on the menu and has to take a photo of every food item? Drives you, me. You hanging out with crazy. Gary Veter? Oh, he does that. Yes. Oh my <laughs> god! Like I couldn't eat. She's like, hold on, hold on. It was like six of us at a restaurant, and she's like laying it all out. So she then she stood up on the chair and did one of these to get all of it. I was I wanted to, I wanted to kill her. I wanted to eat the food. Uh, hmm. Everything came out. She had to get a. Hold on. Oh. Does she put? Does she have a blog? Is she a person, or she just wants to remember? It was pretty. It was a very pretty presentation. Well, and I think she just wanted it. We were at this dim sum place in Midtown. Oh, yeah, really, really <laughs> good. Uh, really good dim. It's so oh, fun. Ew. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I ordered, and uh, it was the food was great, but it was very cool looking, and they'd open it, and like smoke would come out, uh, and all that shit. They're, invi they're inviting it. They're teasing it. Yeah, they want that. That's free promo. It's Instagrammable. Yeah. And Exactly. I, oftentimes, I take a lot of photos because I just want to have the memory to remember the thing. But she's slowing down the meal. That, yes. that, but not letting anyone else touch it is crazy. Yeah. Like, imagine if you were in an orgy and you're like, let me get those tits. Like, no, I want to squeeze yeah. them. Right, right. Just get in there and, and lick them and eat them. Right. So yeah. it ruined the whole sum. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear it's that. Dim. I hear thee. <laughs> but yeah, if, if, she, if you're not allowed to touch the food, I think that's goofballs. That was the problem. Get take some candids. Yeah, take all the photos you want, but let me let me eat normally. I had to wait and be like, "You good? We am, am I all right? Can I go in on the dumps now?" So that was a problem. Yeah, I don't like that one bit. And I, I guarantee she won't even post anything. I think she's just like, "You never know." Right. Yeah. What? We'll a see. Word. I got one. I I don't know. Did I do this one yet, Matt? Let me know if I did this. But I'm at, uh I'm in the bathroom in a public bathroom, and there's a guy peeing from like six feet away from the urinal. I don't Heard care for that. Is. Far back? Yeah, far back. That could be fun, though. Quite a stream on that. Yeah, easy movie. Steph Curry. I mean, it's like, <laughs> it annoyed me. I was like, I don't want to see your fucking dick. At the was it a good pee stream? Yeah, it was very healthy. It has to healthy. be. Of course. He was, be he was launching it from fucking 30 feet. <laughs> Jeez. Half court. Yeah, and a hook shot. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. I li I get right in there. I'm like all the way in. Yeah, and I also do, need you have to be. Yeah. I do. Yeah, absolutely. I block this side with this hand and I block with this. I don't want anyone seeing my dick. I do the and same it's thing. not that I'm embarrassed by my dick even though my dick is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be considerate. I don't want anyone to have to see my dick. Oh, interesting. Mm. It's for them. It's for them exactly. I see. Same at the gym. Like I I go towel and then I pull right. the other way down cuz it's like no one needs to see my dick. Get that it's not in the girls' restroom. We're not peeing openly next to each. You guys are like pampered in the in the women's right. Room. Like I, it's a couch. I don't know why it's <laughs> it's different for you guys. Like who created peeing 
openly to, next to each other. Well, it's very efficient. When men are all about in and out efficiency, it's not about our, feelings or privacy. Our line does move. I mean, but yeah. I heard yeah. this statistically, Ariel Elias has a joke is because something about you guys don't wash your hands. Matter is that. No. Who does? Not after urinating. That's no. the, I do. What? You're a lady. Especially in public restroom. But yeah, that's right. I have brought Depends up like- Depends the public restroom. If, 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 yeah. if it's an airport bathroom, you better believe I wash my hands. Wrigley still has this, by the way. Oh, yeah. there. Wrigley Field still has a trough. It's fucking insane. It's pretty me. gross. Oh, it's horrible. I'm a stall guy. Up? What's that? Doesn't it splash up? Urinals ah. splash all the time. I was My shorts were all splashy the other day. Yeah, that's embarrassing. But you get to an age, I don't even care. I got pee spots everywhere, <laughs> splash. Same. I'm like, what we are you going to do? They're like islands. Yeah. Every night I take my pants off and Sarah's like, you got a huge pee spot. It looks like Hawaii. Australia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Massive. Different state every night. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, that New Jersey? Uh, <laughs> One night I did Alaska. I think I had drank too much. <laughs> Philippines. Now, see, now I have a theory. There's You go to some towns and there's these urinals. See the white ones there with the red, was that red writing on, to the right. right? Oh, yeah. You see those all over in yeah. like very white towns. You get oh, the boy. partition in mixed town. Because I think black guys came in and uh, you had to, you, you can't compete. You don't so want to like, see the dick. You don't want to see the dick. You don't want him seeing yours. Mm. He's coming in like there with that theory. thing with a this, fucking magnum light. Not a bad theory. This I, is one yeah. of the great conspiracy theories I've heard in a while. I, I can uh, get behind it. I don't think so because I was at two different Chicago airports over the weekend and neither had them. And that's and that's a diverse city. Yeah, Absolutely, yeah. But that's I think but it's newly diverse. I don't think they've upgraded. Deep in Alabama. Okay. That's all white. Okay. It, there's no partition in deep Alabama. Huh. Check it out. Get get your head uh, head on when you when you go to these towns, and I, I guarantee you, there's no partition in uh, Salt Lake City. Well, the partition also now now I'm seeing some higher at the airport. Like they need them high because it's the face that bothers me. It's not uh, the dick. I don't like your face so close to my face. I get that. I want a full. But dick showing. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Have it just up here. Yeah, <laughs> a glory hole. <laughs> just yeah. a little flag. Now I've had this before. Have you ever had this? Now I urinate. Nice. This, it's a clear part. That looks like Asian, like gotta be or something. Yeah, they're blocking yeah. the wrong part. <laughs> See, right. I like to pee in a stall because I like my privacy, and I got a bad head dick connection. I can't. What do you? My call wires it? are crossed. Uh, stage fright. Stage fright. Yeah. So I, I go in the stall. ADD though too. I like focus. Like I'll just be pissing sometimes, and my girlfriend will come in and just talk, and I'm like, I can't listen to your day while pissing. Nah. They're similar pissers. You make me feel better. I remember oh, we were to the movies that time, and uh, you had to keep pissing, and I was. It makes me feel better. Oh, I pee nonstop. <laughs> pull up the PJ Clark's urinals. These are kind of fun. Whoa! What the hell? Pull, pull up the. I don't want to ride seen it. These? these are like the iconic New York urinals. That looks like a Segway. Have you seen those? Oh, those are classic. Yeah, those yeah. Those are kind of fun, right? That's like oh, on the floor? free civil rights yeah. journal. What's it called? It still has that. McSorley's has ones like yes. that. McSorley's is cool. Yeah, I love McSorley's. That's a lot of piss uh, been on those urinals. Can we? You want to do bits? Sure. Oh, sure. Or, or yeah, Rex? I, I oh, I got a good bits. movie wreck. Me you, too. You guys are movie, you're a big movie couple. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'd never seen this. in the 90s kind of Western noir. Just watched the other day. It's called Lone Star. Uh, mm, it's a Lone John Star. Sayles movie. It's with Chris Cooper. It's fucking incredible. I don't know Lone Star. I, I like loved Chris it. Cooper. I oh, it's, it's a great cast. Awesome guy. Y Young McConaughey mm. is in it. Um, oh, it's remake. No, Looks like it. no. It's it's such a good script. It's like, and it's oh, 1952. Oh, it was a movie in 1952. But that might be a totally different Lone Star a movie. It's a common term. Was yeah. it a Texas uh, cop? It's good, yeah. And it's like, it's a story about his dad. Yeah, it's got a hot 92 like on Rotten Tomatoes. That says 91, but we'll let it slide. Right, sorry. I was it's still good. Yeah, good cast, good movie. I like Chris Christopherson. Oh, he's oh good, I love Christopherson. <laughs> <laughs> Who else you got there? Joe Morton? Elizabeth Pena. I don't know her. She's yeah, She was in La Bamba. Oh, I know her. In Rush yeah. Hour. She died very young. Uh-huh. She did. Yeah. yeah. Great. Dude, This is, I highly recommend it. All right. I want to check this out. Give I love shot. a Western. I'm a big Western. 82. I love the 90s. It's real good. 96? Okay. 95. What? Can you give me a little premise? Plot? Yeah. It's basically, he's the town sheriff and uh, 
and he and his dad was the town sheriff before him and there was kind of a they discover a body and they think it's the body of this other sheriff and they think maybe his dad was the murderer and his dad has this spotless reputation and certain things come to light oh maybe it's, it's a slow burn the way it unravels but it's man it's like the construction is so good there's so many characters and it, and they all kind of serve a purpose it's, it's great i'm on it it's an old school like it's it's very literary it's old school and it feels like I don't think it's based in a book, but it feels like, I love movies that feel like books, books. in a good way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't it crazy that like, there's just movies that just slip through the cracks. This is yeah. one of them, dude, but it's, but I looked it up, it's got like high audience and critic score and it's, uh, I I bought it. I just bought it on a chain, wow. on DVD, because I heard it was really good. And uh, That's a good feeling when you buy it off a shot and it, Turns out great. Yeah, well, one of the, one of the, I, I, there's so many good noirs in the '90s that I just didn't know about. Like it's one one of the ones I wrecked on here was The Simple Plan. I fucking love them. Great, oh, I love movie. Simple Plan. Yeah, great it's like movie. it's like that type of forgotten awesome movie. I watched Simple Plan recently. Sam Raimi. I, I saw that in that. the theaters. I loved it. Whoa, oh, yeah. incredible. Yeah, yeah, what do you got? What's your wreck? I got two big fat movie Hit wrecks. Me right in the pooper. One new, one old. Maybe you've seen it. Documentary called Flipside. Do you know about Flipside? Flipside. Chuck, our uh, podcast producer, Never sent me the uh, trailer. Pull up a little bit of this trailer. 20, Can you show a trailer? It's new. This movie has all kinds of feel. It's about a record store, but also about a midlife crisis, about uh, art and creating art. You guys will really relate and connect. It's uh, really unbelievable. It's like emotional. It's beautiful. Oh, I can't wait. I don't know if we're allowed to show this. <laughs> this is the whole movie. <laughs> what town? It's out in Jersey. It's 1993. I'm 22 years old, and I never leave the house without my high eight camera. Now, now, the the film won the the Target Shoots Award. A multiple award winning documentary yeah. called The Target Shoots First. The documentarian Chris Bilchett joins us this morning. Slick TV commercials. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's all about, um, I mean, it's just really amazing. It becomes all about midlife crisis and creating art. And wow. then, like, it's just really beautiful. You got to deal with Judd. But it's um, <laughs> a damn thing that you think. And, but it's all about this guy who created Deadwood is in there. And there's this, there's this jazz photographer in there. It's this guy. It's there's so much going on. It's so well done. It's like a masterpiece. Wow. All based on this guy who owns a record store. Huh. But it makes you um, nostalgic. It looks like Kurt Metzger. Oh That's yeah. Not Dan, but it is so Dan it starts too. about a record store, but he actually it's goes Dan. inward on himself. Yeah. Correct. So basically, this guy, um, he's a big, famous commercial director, and then he did what's this show called? Um, who's the guy on fucking? Uh, I, 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 my mind is mush now. Hit me with it. Not PBS, but um, NPR. Ira Glass. Ira Glass. Yeah. He directed Ira Glass's show, and he oh, kind of wow. feels like he becomes a sellout. But then is he's this, this beautiful life? artist. Yeah, yeah, he did the TV oh, show. Oh, that okay. was really good. It is a beautiful film. I had Matt Wayne watch it. He's like, I was crying the whole time. I found the feels. Wow. It's beautiful. I Gotta can't watch wait. It. I'll watch it tonight. Must, must watch. And yeah. the other one, maybe you saw this film, French film, Tell No One. It's good. No, I never heard What's of it. What's that? 2008. I'll just give you the, the poster, the, the quote. The blurb. Eight years ago, his wife was murdered. This is based on a book by Harlan Coben, right? Maybe. I read this one. Yeah, it's a good book. Get this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eight years ago, yeah. his wife was murdered. Today, she emailed him. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. It's the huh? book. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Ooh, that's a slug right it's there. It's something. There's tits. There's murder. There's thrill. There's tits. <laughs> I love it. It is. This yeah, yeah. is a... And I didn't tits. realize how many people had seen this movie because I posted it and like 50 people were like, the best. How about that one scene? 93%. Whoa. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, the, this guy writes like just... He's written like 50 books or something. He just burns them out. He's like a... You see his shit at the airport all the time, but he, he just, uh, all this stuff is like the twists are crazy. Yeah. Oh, it's really yeah, yeah. awesome. A lot of twists and um, Chris fantastic. Thomas. Yeah. So uh, those those are my two movie good, wrecks. Good wrecks. I'm, I'm going to watch this movie. I'm going to watch them both. Yeah, please. Sarah, you got a, you got a wreck? I only have one wreck and I can't remember the name of the movie. Perfect. But we'll we watched it, it together so you can maybe, it's got Anne Hathaway in it. She's big. And she works, she gets Brokeback hired Mountain? to work at a- Devil Wears Prada. No, at a, um, a like a prison, 
a Prison. therapist and it's wow. set in like the it's we watched time, this we i think we watched it and has a good um eileen uh, Oh, Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's based on a book, too. And I like the twist. I wasn't expecting it, and it was really good. It's dark. Yeah. But Slow burn, good. dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's good. 82, we're dropping off a little for Sarah's pick, but <laughs> well, she's a woman. You got to scale. I don't, get, <laughs> I don't get to watch a lot of stuff these days because I'm just watching our kid. Yes. Boy, she's a good looking lady, huh? Oh, absolutely. She was great in this. You see her cans in Brokeback. It's, that's why I watch it all great. the time. Pull them up. They, it's as if they were to be like, to make up for all this gay shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Here's some tits. Nice set of big, juicy cans. Yeah. yeah, I hear she's a nightmare to hang out with, but uh, great jugs. Yeah, that was good. That's my rack. Yeah. Good one. I got to tell you, I just watched Going Clear. I've been on a Gibney. The good one. A, that's a good love one. Gibney. Yeah. Do you see the Paul Simon? Yeah snooze fest but yeah it wasn't the best wasn't the best it. but his best work is catching hell the uh, 30 for 30 about bartman that's like his best movie I oh think. man I, it's bartman, amazing I've seen it oh it's the best 30 for 30 really well you you guys both watched the pete rose yeah yeah it was awesome it was good i, I gotta watch that gibney's uh, daughter we worked with on a short film she was right. uh, at nyu she was like dp right yeah ah. she was doing dp work yeah double penetration <laughs> <laughs> That's what she was doing. Yep. <laughs> hey, I don't know. That, that should have made me laugh that hard. But no, <laughs> that was just sitting there. But, Give uh, me rules. That that Gonzo doc is awesome also. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's gosh, great. Man. You yeah, want it? Docs. Love a good doc. You ever seen uh, uh, the exit through the gift shop? Oh, yeah. That's, Did you watch Tickled? That was, yeah, really that was fun. Tickled amazing. was great, that's, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, another one. That. That's that, a weird one, right? It was good. I like a doc where it begins, they are working on this, yes. and then they take a hard left yes. and get sidetracked with this other project. Yeah, yeah that's like cool. that one. Uh, By the way, new doc coming. Po Tom Dustin, Whoa! Portrait of a Comedian, coming Hi. soon. We're going to do a, a New comedian. York. Yeah. Where can we see it? It's going to be, we're going to do a, a, a screening in New York, I'm trying to do October. We're making It's in the works right now. I just had a talk today. We're going to try to get it. You guys got to come and, yeah. uh, and, and check yeah. it out. But uh, probably in October. I'm you're excited. in there. You got. You're in there That's for a great. second. I'll um, take it. And uh, it's got, we got into a big festival that we can't announce yet, but uh, that's exciting. And I think it's going to play at Skank Fest. Woo! And then maybe they'll go on Punch Up. You guys are on Punch Up. Punch right? Up is great. Follow us all on Punch Up, punchup.live slash all of our names, punchup.live slash Joe List. Uh, Sarah, are you on it as well? No. It's great. Oh. He doesn't I'm like thinking women. about it with my special with the YouTube Who monetization. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Punchup.live slash Mark Norman, punchup.live slash Sam Morell, all our tour dates, a bunch of extra stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm pumped to see this doc, man. Yeah, I think it's really good. I mean, obviously, I think it's good. It's like the your baby looking cute, but I think it's really good. I think there's some emotion. There's a lot of stand up. It's about you know regret and sobriety and friendship. And uh, Tom is just hilarious. You guys know Tom. He's, He's the funniest hilarious. guy. Hilarious. And then Key West is a character itself. Perfect. And, um, now, what about this uh, piece of garbage's uh, DP work? Yep. Ah, uh, no, no, were no. you able to? Salakus was great. I mean, yeah, Salakus was Sal great, obviously. Yeah, of course. No, Sal he was awesome. And Salakus was a big part of it. He's an associate producer. He did great. He had, he interviewed me, and I was annoyed. Uh, He's like asking me, I'm like, what are you doing? I don't want to be interviewed. And yeah. then it ended up being like a key part that we needed in there. So, oh, all right. and just a great travel partner, Salakus. Yeah. So oh, it was yeah. a three man operation. It was me, Patrick Holbert, and Salakus. And Patrick Holbert, by the way, shout out to him, wonderful comedian. And if you ever need video stuff, leave this shithole. He's the best. I mean, he is the top of the line. Yeah. Matt didn't smile. I feel weird now. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, tough not to crack. But, but um, yeah, he, we, it's a real passion project, and um, it cost me more money than I want Sarah to know, but uh, it's in, really good, I think. In the grand scheme of movie making, pretty cheap. Yeah. Yes, but. it costs a lot less than Jurassic Park, but it's coming straight out of my <laughs> wallet, for God's sake. But I think we, we, with those ways, we might be able to uh, make it back, maybe. And but. you, and also, if you haven't seen uh, Joe's movie, I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, but Fourth of July, that Sarah's also in, great movie. Oh, yeah, where's Where that, that at? Louis site? It's on everything now. It's I think it's on, I oh. think it's on Amazon, Amazon now. Oh, how oh, cool man. is that? Yeah, I think it went everywhere now. It got a nice little bump from that. Do you get like a nickel? I guess that goes to Louis. No, we have we never recuperated our money. Look at those scores, huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the audience score is like eighty eight percent or something like that. It's worse than Eileen. Uh, yeah, look at that, eighty nine percent box office. Yeah, well, you were I think getting criticized for something else too. That wasn't 
in oh, there you go. 89, yeah, we, yeah. We were on a curve. Yeah. yeah. but I thought, um, I thought it was terrific. Oh, thanks. Man. Everybody liked it that saw it. Um, and uh, what was I going to say about that movie? I forget. But yeah, it's it's everywhere now. You can go check that out. Boy, they throw that box office USD right up there, don't they? Yeah. Good Boy, they, Lord. They really kind of nailed it. Yeah, but you <laughs> know what? If you look at some other movies that had um, like a, a big production behind it, some of them are making that amount. Oh, too. we beat the Leonard Cohen doc that came out the same week. That was oh. a good doc, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we got more money on that. But uh, no, I'm not making any money on it, but I made money because I was I, like, I made like union money, but Louis hasn't recuperated his money, but I think he will eventually at some point. Yeah, yeah. Same thing happened with a uh, Horace and Pete. I think everybody was like, what the fuck is this thing? And then he sold it for millions to FX or something. Yeah, but uh, it was awesome. And then while we're plugging, can I just do a, I have one big show coming up. I feel like you guys have a lot of New Yorkers. November 9th, Town Hall, oh, New York City. It's a big deal. Room. I'm doing all these other clubs. You just find all my dates at Punch Up. But Town Hall, November 9th. Very excited Buy about tickets, that. guys. And, uh, That's going to be big. That's going to sell out. I hope so. So we, we got a nice chunk, but uh, I got I to gotta fill it up. You'll November 9th, there. Town Hall, during the New York Comedy Festival. And, uh, yeah, those are my you main. You think you got a, a hot new 50? Yeah, I'm shooting in uh, October. We just had that come. Jeez. Wow. Yes. What, what the hell? You keep You're pumping it animal. out. Well, I'm trying. Wow. But, yeah, so do that. And then why? Well, where are you going to shoot? I think Zany's. Whoa. Chicago. Ro- Rosemont. Rosemont. Are you, are you definitely doing it or, or not sure? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to shoot downtown and Rosemont, oh. and then uh, either maybe cut it together, but at least have one, and then have some for bonus stuff. I love it. I just I like clubs. I like I like doing the clubs. And uh, Louis always said he's like, you should shoot your special in the venues that you're doing. It's sure. like I do the Wilbur, and I'm doing Town Hall, and I did a big room in Chicago before. But I'm like, I don't want to be the guy that comes out in a stadium. But mm. I'm like, I like the club. Right, club some, guy. Some specials. I'm like, this looks like it was filmed in it. A- airplane hangar oh for sure yeah those ones like, that kind of shot in like studios hangar. yeah what a weird place to shoot this and that regan improv which whichever one that is it's one walk of the, to the moon. i walked to the moon my number one all time yeah one of the great specials and you feel like you're at the club it's I so love good it. yeah yeah so i'm uh yeah i'm excited we'll see what do you got tolamash i got my special coming out that one's old i should update my website actually. god you look Gorgeous, Sarah. I uh, uh, September fifth shot at Grove thirty four. I was um, almost like nine months pregnant. Wow, wow. wow. fun. Um, yeah, and it's called Butthole Money. It's coming out <laughs> September fifth. Yeah, money. watch it. I forgot. Sarah's about a great it. joke writer and uh, lover. Lover jokes. Definitely watch this special. Yes, good and comic. Another one already up. Right, Voluptuous boy. Or it's got. I felt. I feel like the jokes are more fun. Yeah. Than I usually get to do. Oh, all you right. You want to do a bit or should we just do dates? Oh, sorry. I started I prematurely. I, I think I used all my bits oh, all right. on the cool. last show. Unfortunately, I didn't. I didn't think about it. Sorry. Can I try one? Because I want to. Yeah, try this. Sure, I want to try this sure. tonight. I, I got. I got a thing too. I just want to okay, try it tonight. Great. Is this anything? It's a quick one. My girlfriend always cleans my apartment and then complains I don't hire a cleaning lady. She's like, "Why don't you hire a cleaning lady?" I'm like, "Well, the same reason I don't get a prostitute. You're crushing it." Uh, <laughs> that's funny. That's Is that good. something? All right, I'll try it tonight. I just want to run one. Quick. Yeah, no, that's hilarious. I'm gonna try it tonight. Yeah, it's funny. That's really funny. <sighs> think of this. Uh, yeah. No, nah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I just want to make sure it's not trash. Um, no, no, that's good. This is this this kills, but I don't know where to go or what to add with it. But this is a true story. I was walking to the airport, and a guy walked by and just put like this. He goes, "Comedian." <laughs> 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 I'm like, "Oh, thank you." I don't know, like, yeah. that's the level I'm at. Like, people don't say like, "I love you," or "You're hilarious," yeah. or my name. He just put like literally like this, comedian. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, all right." Did they do that with a lawyer? Yeah, yeah. You know, I tried. I'm like, pilot, yeah. accountant. Um, but uh, yeah, that was. A that's, funny thing that's, that happened. Have you tried just that? No, I've, I've done it a few times and it gets like a huge laugh. But that's then you're funny. just one of those things where you're like, that's it. All right, that's the end of that. That's, yeah. That's yeah. The, maybe, right. yeah, I like the line, that's the level I'm at is funny. Right, right. Uh, I'm not getting an oh my God. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. And you're, uh, you're acknowledge not, of what I do for a living. Don't even want a photo. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ever guess that could be a funny follow up. Do you want a photo? I'm good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I know who you, you are. You guess what he does? Yeah, maybe that could be Oh, something. yeah. Alcoholic. What do he look right. like? <laughs> Just a guy. I mean, it was like literally like Just he was like, moving fast. Like he looked like, I mean, he looked like 100% of the people that know who I am. Like a 38 yeah. year old guy in a hoodie with some stubble. Maybe it's the nicest thing anyone has said to you that's just walking by. You know, it's usually like homo. 
right. Fuck you. Yeah, piece of shit. Tiny dick. Yeah, this guy come in, you're like, I'll take it. I just remember we had a kid here. Isn't that weird? Oh, right. It's so easy to forget that you're yeah. like, we have a baby in the you other room. You have someone watching He's it. In time, right? yeah, <laughs> He's in the car. Yeah, that's time. He's in the car. We just have a lot. <laughs> There's a moment where you're like, you wait to come out there and you're like, He's just bleeding. It's only like 78. Matt, can you crack a window in the car? All right. Maybe I got I got one that's similar, but it's got no ending. Oh, perfect. Okay, sorry. Uh, Oof. Uh, so I got this idea where uh, I saw a guy puke on the subway car, like puked right on it. A guy saw it. He puked because, you know, he's like, oh, yeah. you know, and then I got a whiff and I almost yacked. And I thought it's weird that puking makes you have to puke. And I thought, why can't orgasms be like that? That's and not bad. that hits. And then I go, uh, that would actually make the guy rubbing around the subway like a good thing. You know, now you see a guy like rubbing out, you're like, look at this piece of... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But then I don't know where to go. So I got the two laughs there and then the nothing. Well, I would do the... start rubbing it out too in order to get an orgasm. Like, well, it's only smell, right? Oh. Or like, what are you... Yeah. I guess I, I went off smell. It's just like, I saw a guy puke. But yeah, orgasm... Well, I, yeah. yeah, that's 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 a good point. I would go the other way though. I'm like, then a guy drinking up the subway would really be a problem. Oh, now we're all showing up at work yeah. with oh, cum in our pants. Oh, <laughs> maybe like that's now, because yes. that's kind of also funny to downplay what a problem. It, it's not really a problem for me. A guy jerking up the right. subway, I'm just like, well, whatever. I'll look the other way. But in that case, I'd You're be like, like, oh, my pants are. That's ruined. better. Like, Should I shouldn't have worn white pants? Right, right, right. Well, everyone will want to ride the subway now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just we'll pay our debt back. <laughs> I'm just downstairs at the 42nd Street subway all day waiting for a guy to start jerking off. Right, I'll break my wife. <laughs> she can finally get up. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. That's funny. I like that it's a problem more. Yeah, because I went with, hey, this is great. Right, but that's less funny. Okay, okay. I, like, but the whole idea though of puke making you puke and cum making you cum is funny. Yeah, that I like the turn. All right, anything, mom? Um. This one recently, I don't know if it's kind of hacky, but I feel like no one's talked about this part of it. Do you know when you buy coffee and then the barista is, or the person that registers, like, okay, I'm just going to turn the iPad around. And it's going to ask you a question mm -hmm. where I'm like, why do they act like they don't know what the question is? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, it's the tip, right? Yeah, it's the tip. Yeah. But why are they just like, you know, it's like, it's, it's beyond their control. Like we don't know what this thing does. <laughs> it makes us. I don't know. What did it say? Did it call you a? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just act like it asked me how many like sexual partners I've had. <laughs> right, right. I'd rather 15, that than the 18. tip. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Do you swallow? All right, all right. Just let me give you fifteen percent. <laughs> yeah. Move on. Or then I've just thought about like I also have an iPad. And it's gonna ask oh, a few questions. Oh, right. you flip yeah. yours over? So that's just like two iPads talking to each other. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. But I just get annoyed that they don't have the balls to say it's going to ask you for a tip. Right. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Gonna ask you a question is very like what it's vague. No accountability. Yeah. Whatsoever. Right, right. Because I accidentally tip somebody on the upper east at one of these Oh, where I they was just furious. grab your thing for you and it was so expensive and I Joe was like, What do you do? No, I was like, No, 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 I we don't want to do it that. like people pleasing, like automatically, yeah. just like twenty and just like no. And the guy, and the like, guy couldn't return he went, the It already went through. Oh <laughs> It was literally a bodega where you get your own food and hand it to the guy and then he scans it and then Sarah tipped twenty percent and it was the upper east, so it was like forty bucks. So we oh. tipped like it was like Granola and gave him yogurt. Like, yeah. We gave him eight dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just go boop, boop, boop. And they get used to it. Then if you don't do it, they give you a look. Right. You're the asshole. You bought a car. Oh, you already tipped twenty percent on the car. Sorry. 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 What You're about what, debt. with the iPad? Just to throw it back on them, she's like, "It's going to ask you a question." And you go, "I can't read." Yeah. So oh, now yeah. she's got to say it. Oh, that's not bad. Right. That's good. I can't read. She's like, "There's actually no words." I like words. that. I it's can't just, read. It's just a dollar sign. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just numbers. Like I can't read numbers either. I can't. I'm blind. I'm so stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I'm blind to something. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, blind. I'm Amish. <laughs> I don't know what this is. The one benefit to being blind. Yeah, no less tipping. You're like, oh, uh, there's a twenty. You give him a dollar. Yeah. yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> I'm tired of tipping. We all are. It's a it's an epidemic. These people with their uh, their iPads and whatnot. So the worst one I had was in Key West. Is like a cigar stand on the side of the road, and I walk up. I know exactly what I want and where it is. I go, I grab it, I walk over, I hand it. It scans it. It's the iPad, and it's got a tip option. I'm like, well, what would be the tip for? Yes, exactly. You're just sitting there. Yeah, and then people go like, well, it's these are hard times for people. The economy is out of control. You're like, but it's out of control for me too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Things are going well. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that. But you, I, <laughs> <laughs> Key West, he's got a Hawaiian shirt on and flip flops. <laughs> uh, comedian. <laughs> comedian. Yeah, we'll plug some dates. Where are you guys going to... I mean, you got the town hall gig coming up. Where else are you going to... Uh, I got Philly Helium, first weekend in October. Right. Uh, Portland Helium, uh, September 13th and 14th, 12th, 13th, 14th. Indianapolis, I haven't been there since the 80s. Uh, oh. September 20th, 21st. And then I'll be at Skankfest, of course. Never miss it. Uh, Philly, yeah. that Philly actually will sell out, so make sure you get those tickets early. Royal Oak, Michigan, October 18th, 19th, 20. Great, Great clubs. One. Love them. Oh, yeah, I love that place. And um, and then Kansas City actually got moved to January. And uh, San Diego, December, first time working that city in my whole life. What? what? Uh, oh, you're going to love that American room. Comedy Co. That's a great uh, comedy fun. town. Yeah, and, uh, great. But yeah, Town Hall is the big one for sure. Hell yeah. All right, folks, get some Bodega Cat. It's BodegaCatWhiskey.com. Uh, seller, it's crushing in New York right now. It's so sold out. It. Yeah, when does this come out? Oh, start. It'll be back by then. Oh, yeah, Niagara Falls, uh, September 13th. That's a one-nighter a casino. That'll be fun. Then I'm hitting Europe, London, Whoa. Belfast, Whoa. Dublin, oh. Paris added show, and Amsterdam added show, so please uh, help me sell those out. Copenhagen, Oslo, looking fucking rough. Uh, <laughs> Stockholm. And then I'm back. Back at uh, Hilarities in uh, no- November. I'm gonna add some more dates, some more club dates to get to get cooking again. Uh, punchup dot live slash Joe List, Punchup dot live slash Sam Morell, and Punchup dot live slash Mark Norman. Mark, where are you gonna be? Hey, coming to St. Louis, Missouri, Atlanta, Georgia, Vancouver, Orlando, Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Portland, Oregon, London, Ontario, Toronto. We added the show. Come out to that Newport, Rhode Island for that uh, Rogue. Island Comedy Festival, mm. Monterey, Oakland, Winnipeg, uh, Peg Me, Cleveland. <laughs> oh, I'm also doing a, uh, hilarities before Sam, so I'm sneaking in. He's getting sloppy seconds. Fayetteville, Wichita, Kalamazoo, Chicago Theater. That's a fun one. Poughkeepsie, Torrington, Connecticut, wherever that is, and Charleston, Nashville, Nola, Wilkes-Barre, and Inglewood. So, yeah, check it out. Get on the punch-up. Watch Sarah's special. Uh, go to Town Hall. Check out Amazon. We all got stuff out there. Give it a goo. Give it a look. And, YouTube uh, bu- uh, uh, Butthole Money. Yes. Oh, it'll be it out is. by the time this airs. Hell yeah. Dave. Yeah, good Soundgarden song. Thanks, folks. Get a bottle. We'll see you in hell. <laughs> On top of the world with value views You a picture perfect girl, I'm Sally Q's Eating this week like I'm going out to lunch I'm always in the soup, cracking jokes, that's nuts A nomad storming Normandy, call me Norman Kicking down the doors of comedy, I'm not the doorman I wanna kiss in the shows, I try to be aloof I am a drifter doing shows high up on the roof I'm old fashioned, sipping that bodega cat Such a pet peeve when my vision starts to break the black Only happens when it don't be top shelf Only seems to happen when you don't be yourself And that's a joke and I I would know it's how I make a living. I am a pro and you should know before I play the building. Watch me kill the bill I feel. I'm hot shit. Scotch I spill, but I'm more ill. I got this. Drunk now.